Hi, everyone, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Requests and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning on our prayer request today. Uh, pray for Yvonne, Anthony, Benjamin, Zachary, Nicholas, and Tierra. They all have cold and flu symptoms and are very sick. Pastor Frank Shoemate has COVID again. Pray that he'll get better soon. Pray for Vicki G and her family. They all have bad colds. Uh, pray it doesn't get worse and they get better soon. Angel is really sick and his brother's wedding is next Sunday. Uh, he would like prayers that he'll get better before the wedding. And pray, pray for Clay and Ruthie. They have an unspoken request. Okay. All right. Our scripture of the day today comes from Psalm 33, 6 through 9, and then 12 through 22. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Their starry host are by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea into jars. He puts the deep into storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the people of the world revere him. For he spoke, and it came to be, he commanded, and it stood firm. Blessed is the nation whose, whose God is the Lord, the people he chose for his inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down and sees all mankind. From his dwelling place he watches all who live on earth. He who forms the hearts of all, who considers everything they do. No king is saved by the size of his army. No warrior escapes by his great strength. A horse is a vain hope for deliverance, despite all its great strength it cannot save. But the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, on those who hope, in, hope whose hope is in his unfailing love, <coughs> to deliver them from death and keep them alive in famine. We wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. May your unfailing love be with us, Lord, even as we put our hope in you. All right. All right, and our devotion today is entitled Spotting Hope. Oceanographer Sylvia Earle has seen the deterioration of coral reefs firsthand. She founded Mission Blue, an organization devoted to the development of global hotspots. These special places around the world are critical, are critical to the health of the ocean, which impacts our lives on Earth. Through the intentional care for these areas, scientists have seen the relationships of underwater communities restored and lives of endangered species preserved. In Psalm 33, the psalmist acknowledges that God spoke everything into existence and ensured that all he made would stand firm. As God reigns over generations and nations, he alone restores relationships, saves lives, and revitalizes hope. However, God invites us to join him in caring for the world and the people he created. Each time we praise God for the whisper of a rainbow splashed across a, a clouded gray sky or the glistening waves of the ocean crashing against a rocky shore, we can proclaim his unfailing love and presence as we put our hope in him. <coughs> Excuse me. When we're tempted toward discouragement or fear as we consider the current state of the world, we may begin to believe that we can't make a difference. When we do our part as members of God's care team, however, we can honor him as the creator and help find others spot hope as they place trust their trust in Jesus. How has God used nature to affirm your hope in him? How can you serve as part of his care team? Loving creator and sustainer, help me be a hope spotter who faithfully serves on your care team. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that 
so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning, and I'd love to see you later on on Morning Coffee Break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.